Why is you taking pictures of me? You don't take no picture of me. I want press charges against you. We're gonna confiscate your camera if you take a picture. That's not true, sir. Huh? That's not true. Say again? What you said is not true. It's illegal to take uh, picture of government property. That is not true, sir. Yes, sir, it is. Under what law? It doesn't matter what law it is, sir. You're supposed to go take any movie or please don't take any picture of the Uh, sir, I suggest you familiarize yourself with the Department of Homeland Security menu, uh, me uh, memo issued in 2010. I'm going to continue recording. Have a nice day. Yes, I am. I don't need to provide an explanation, sir. You can't take video no, here. No, you can't take video here. No camera, nothing. Of course I can. You cannot. You cannot. Under what law? Okay. Uh, okay. Talk talk you. you guys are very ignorant. Are you familiar with the Department of Homeland Security memo issued in 2010 indicating that it's perfectly legal? You cannot. I am doing it and I am going to continue to do it. You can't do that. Yes, I'm doing it right now. And I'm going to continue to do so. You guys are going to learn something today about the First Amendment. Why is he doing the unit? Call the First Amendment, sir. I'm a member of the public exercising my constitutional rights. Yes, you have no right to be doing here. You I have... The federal government disagrees with you, sir. Okay. You are going to learn something today. Who are you, sir? As you can see, this path that I'm currently on right now is part of the East Bay Regional Park District Regional Trail. And you can see that it's got curfew hours, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. It's currently outside of those hours. And they list a few rules and regulations, none of which pertain to taking video. I am not on U.S. Postal Service property, which is over there. Yet this security guard and this unknown person here, hello, is, seems to be under the impression that I can't take photographs here and video. They seem to be have been on the phone for quite some time now. Perhaps they're receiving an education. I didn't feel like hanging around for the police to arrive. So after I returned home, I called the local police department myself and offered to speak to the responding officer. The responding officer did call me back and indicated that he told the reporting parties that no crime had occurred and that no further investigation on this matter would take place. I would also like to address a couple of errors I made over the course of recording this video. I made multiple references to the somewhat infamous DHS memo. However, I was wrong in so much that the DHS memo does not apply to the United States Postal Service. That is because the DHS memo only applies to properties that are protected by the Federal Protective Service. 
USPS is protected by the Postal Police, which is part of the United States Postal Inspection Service. A lot of people make this error, and at the time, like many other people, I was ignorant with regard to this matter. In any case, the matter is somewhat trivial because we as the people have the right to record whatever we want to from public property with very few exceptions. So the FPS memo does provide some clarification and it is intended for FPS so that they can have some guidance on the matter. But again, it shouldn't be misinterpreted to apply to all federal buildings. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like to watch YouTube videos and you don't like advertisements, check out New Pipe. It's an excellent application for the Android platform. Doesn't cost any money. It's open source. And you don't get ads and you don't get tracked. And you don't have to deal with any of Google's bullshit. All right, everybody, take care.